Here we're looking at AT&T and we're looking at uh, uh, the market really, you know, AT&T really took a pretty big drop here, about 5%. And, you know, looking at this, you would never anticipate such a move. I mean, a matter of fact, I, um, you know, I'm teaching my son, you know, how to chart, and, uh, you know, he's he's doing very well. And, uh, you know, I tried to give these kind of examples um, and tried to show him what what to look for here in these kind of moves. And when you look at this, all signs say, I don't understand why we saw this breakdown, but there's always a reason for something. And, and, I, and again, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in this and make, and make, you know, the judgment call thinking it's going to continue to go higher and make the mistake. So, you know, this is not, you know, holier than thou kind of thing. And, you know, I don't make mistakes. Everybody does. The difference is to always try to do something that I, I pretty much say most of the time in this is to, you know, when you're unsure what's going on, go back to basics. And what I, you know, spoke with my son about as I said, well, you know, um, you always want to look at the old historical data. That that is the the reason what we do in technical analysis. That's the basics of what we do. And you can't tell where you are unless you know where you were in the past. So as we move this further. You could see, and a matter of fact, as I started to do that, he pointed right over to these highs here and showed and demonstrated that there was prior resistance at these ranges. So then the next question comes out, and, and a lot of times some individuals that do technical analysis, this is not a knockdown, it's, I did the same when I started, you know, assume that because it broke the price range that...